Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Four Wide with Declan. As always, we will be discussing NASCAR-related topics, so let's get right into it. Our first topic of the week is that Kyle is Kyle Larson today. Kyle Larson did some IndyCar testing. So was announced earlier this year that Kyle. So, so was announced earlier that Kyle Larson will do, will do the. Indy 500 double, Indy 500 Coke 600 double in 2024, and then in the Brickyard weekend, in the weekend that they went to the Indianapolis road course, his his two schemes were announced. He will be driving for McLaren, for McLaren IndyCar team. That's why the scheme is orange. He will be running an orange and blue number 17, and then in the five, and then in the Coke 600, he will be running a blue and orange number 5, Hendrick Chevrolet. And just today, Kyle Larson was seen, he was at Indianapolis Motor Speedway, he was doing tests in an Indy car, probably to get some experience, learn what the Indy car is all about, because of course he's a NASCAR driver, he has little, to, he has no, he doesn't have, he has little to no experience like all NASCAR drivers, pretty much, except for road ringers, he has little to no open wheel experience. So he was probably just trying to get some open wheel experience today. So Kyle Larson was doing in, he's doing IndyCar testing, getting set for the big double in 2024. Our second topic of the week is Carson Hosovar, Truck Series hot shot. Carson Hosovar will be moving up the ranks. He'll, he will be the... He will be another driver, along with Zane Smith. He will be making the jump from the Truck Series all the way up to the Cup Series in 2024. So it was announced. It was announced on the weekend. It was announced on September on September 16th that Zane Smith will t will drive a third Spire car full time in the Cup Series and be teammate full time in the Cup Series and be teammates with Corey LaJoy. And then, and around that same time, there were rumors for Hosovar to be replacing Ty Dillon because we know how Ty Dillon's been doing this season. Not, not it's it is it hasn't been Ty Dillon's year. And then Hosovar, it was rumored that he would take over the seventy seven next season. And it was announced on Tuesday that Carson Hosovar will be taking over the number seventy seven full time. In 2024, making it a three-car Spire team with LaJoy in the 7, Hosovar in the 77, and they have still not decided a number for Zane Smith in that third Spire car. And now the big question is, where's Ty Dillon going to go next year? Personally, I think either Ty Dillon with the... First of all, I first with the news, I thought Ty Dillon w would be going to the 16... Cup car, the 16 colleague car, because AJ Allmendinger is thinking about going to the Xfinity series now that Daniel Hemrick's going to the Cup series. But it was also announced that with the announcement yesterday that Sheldon Creed would be taking, you no, know, he would be he would be parting ways with RCR at the end of the season. That opens up maybe for Ty Dillon to drive for his grandpa to drive for his grandpa in the number two. Xfinity car, so who Xfinity car, so who knows what's going to happen here? And our third and final topic is an announcement that n literally no one saw coming. It is that Matt Mills, yes, Matt Mills will be driving the number forty-two truck series truck for Nice Motorsports, replacing Carson Hosovar in twenty twenty-four. So I just talked about how Carson Hosovar used to, I mean, he currently drives that 42, but next season he'll be driving the 77 truck, no, the 77 cup car full-time in 2024. And now in 2024, it was just announced today that Matt Mills will be taking over that number 42 with sponsorship from JF Electric. A scheme has not been revealed yet for Matt. He's made a couple truck starts with his best outing coming Coming in July, with his, with his, with his, no, with a run, a top five run at Richmond, and driving for Kyle Busch. That was his first of two starts in good equipment in the Truck Series. He's also made a couple starts for year, for this year in, for Nice Motorsports.
no, no, not Nice Motorsports, for Young's Motorsports. He will be driving for Nice Motorsports next season in the number 42 truck. He'll be teammates. From what I know, he will be teammates with Lawless Allen. And from what we know now, that 41 will continue to be remain Chevy's Truck Series All-Star entry. And now, our fourth and final topic is, of course, the Las Vegas preview for the Cup Series. I have a few favorites. Joey Logano, although he's already eliminated, it's, it has not been his season. He he could get it done. He won this race last year. William Byron, we know how hot he's been lately. He he won this race in the spring. I think William Byron, it's best bet for him to get a top five. So I have my eye on William Byron for this weekend's race. And by the way, he had a 1.66 average finish in that round of 12. And he won here in the spring, so he is definitely someone to look out for. And then my Xfinity Series prediction... Austin Hill has been good this season. John Hunter Nemechek has shown speed on mile and a half. Those are my two favorites. We also have a couple more favorites. Cole Custer, Justin Allgaier, Sam Mayer could be a few more drivers to look out for. And that does it for this week on 4 Wide with Declan. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and bye for now.